Okay, one last question, and then we'll move on. What else? Okay, well, the, the only other thing, and, and thank you for all of this. This is so helpful. It's sure. huge for what I'm sure. working on right now. The only other thing had to, had to do with the sidebar, and there's a, you know, if I go to my widgets, the, I have the option to include a sidebar. Will that be the same sidebar? For, will the same sidebar show up for every uh, landing page class? You follow me? Or, or can I sidebars on the different pages? Well, the way it works is that, that it's not so much the custom class of landing page, it's the custom template. So that landing page sidebar, that sign up sidebar is part of the custom template that you described. And so every time you use that custom template, every time you say if is page array blah 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 blah, each, for each one of those pages is going to have that same sidebar in it. Now, however, well, actually, and maybe that's what you want. I'm turning you back on. Is that what you wanted? You know, I think for now that will work. Um, they, I'd like to be able to put different content on the different landing pages. Ideally, that's the way it would work. Okay, and so the way you do that is, I mean, if you've got, the, the easiest way to handle that is just to use a plug-in to adjust which widgets go where. And I have a video on that. I'm just going to run you over there real quick. Let's see, video lessons. And it is under the e-commerce section. I'm going to make a version of it to stick under plugins. But right now, under e-commerce, if you, let's see, maybe it's, Where is that? Control, add featured products. Oh, it's lesson 13. Control which widgets display on which pages. And that shows you how to use a plugin that will allow you to decide which widgets go where. If you look at my widgets panel, and I'm using a different plugin for the purpose, but the idea is still going to be the same. If you look at my widgets panel here, you know, my sidebar one has tons of different widgets in it, but if you go to one of the pages and look at sidebar one, and this is not a good example because this is actually a testimonial sidebar for this page. Oh no, it isn't. This is sidebar one, and the only thing that's in sidebar one is this one widget that shows all these testimonials. And the way I accomplish that, that's this widget right here, the way I accomplish that is by using a plugin that allows me to say which widget should be should display where. And the one that I teach in lesson 13 is uh, quite a bit easier to use than the TS custom widgets, which is what I'm using here on the site. So, does that answer the question? That is great. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. This is huge, huge help. Um, thank you, Rick. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. -bye.